What is up, everybody? Welcome back to MLB The Show at 19, March to October. And we were not allowed, we were not able to get the brooms out against Boston. They made us put them away in the closet, but that doesn't mean that we're not done. We still have a 2-1 to one series lead against the Red Sox, and we're still looking to take them out, end their season in Boston, Massachusetts. A date with the Cleveland Indians awaits us if we win. If we lose, it comes down to a winner take all ALDS Game 5 in Yankee Stadium. We enter this Game 4 in the top of the 6th with nobody on, nobody out, and no score. Let's find out if we can put Boston away, get a run, and see if our pitching and bullpen can hold Boston to a big old goose egg. If you guys are watching this back in VOD form, it's on YouTube or Twitch. I live stream this stuff on Twitch. Traditionally on Monday nights. It's a Tuesday night this time because I had a busy, busy day at work on Monday this week. But traditionally it's on Monday nights. So come on by twitch.tv slash owners for Murpho. And give us a watch. Get involved in the chat like Adam Ritt and Ladies Go Up and Uncle Muscles are right now. So the Yankees had a chance Ladies to finish uh, up Like I said, Sunday, FS1, where, sport, where you send sports shows to die. I remember you saying that during the SummerSlam stream. Well, Matt, after failing to sweep the series in Game 3, these players and coaches told me they just have to move on. Sweeps are great, but they're also not all that likely. The key for them, they say, is to learn from their mistakes and focus on executing on every single pitch and every play here today. They no, I actually get to see her. They're that, just showing us the stats here. here. Headed for a date in the LCS. All right, Luke Boyd. Leading off for the Yankees. Leading things off. The first Let's see, who do I have in the bullpen right Luke. now? Boy. We got, uh, this is for the bottom line. We got Tommy Canley and Jonathan Holder. Britton and Chapman are pretty tired, so we're going to have to rely on Batances and Ottavino, which is bad. That means our lefties are tired. I'm going to I'm going to sit down Holder and warm up uh, Chad Green because he's got the higher overall. Get Chad Green and Tommy Canley uh, warming up. Uh, which, it's not... I Like, if we got to put the lefties in to win the series, we got to put the lefties in, but ideally we'll use the righties. First pitch coming, here it is. Two seamer up. up. Wanted to see if I could get that run in immediately on a home run. Who's pitching against us right now? Ready David Price. That answers my question. Outside one on one. Not actually sure you'll increase the NXT audience even. Plus minus ten percent for a few weeks could be even less of people people just trying to find it. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know if it's a good idea by WWE, but who knows? Maybe it will lead into AEW's ratings. In the air, out toward In the air field. that's that going to get read on it. caught. One out. I felt like that was close, and then I had to fight it off, so one away. DJ Cutter, borderline. I could have gotten called booking, so I'm not going to beat now myself up for swinging that pitch. All right, four seamer. Here is you'll take a look at ball one, one and zero. Oh, that's gonna get right in the gap. Come on, Lemayhew, get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. Oh, why'd I do that? I thought LeMahieu was faster than that. That could have been a double, but it was only a single, and I tried to stretch it. Learned my lesson. May have just ruined a rally, but there's a base hit up the middle by Aaron Hicks, so I just kind of negated that. David Price did have a nice pitch count, but now it's no longer nice. I agree, NXT is the most committed product with AEW. The main rosters are stuck in WWE in this. Yep. And Duhar. All right, so Miguel and Duhar, we do have a runner on, so we haven't completely screwed the pooch here in the sixth. First offering on its way. Oh, that's fair. Wait, I thought. Oh, it was fair. Ground rule double, two on, nobody out. And here's Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge hit the ceiling home run. Oh, I swung power on the first pitch. 
And he'll get there in plenty of well, time we threatened, but nothing doing. Really makes me wish I didn't try to stretch that double. Striding in for Boston, Jackie Bradley Jr. Lifetime in this matchup. He hasn't had much success. Really wish I didn't try to stretch that double as LeMahieu. That could have been a run in. Corner Boston kind of sucks for pitches like that. Pitches like that, right? For the one that I hit the double off of. I shouldn't have swung power with Judge. I should have just been trying to get a hit to get the run in. But I thought I saw like a pitch up in the zone that I could have killed, so I just went after it. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite me. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's Who's name. around the outside. Kids are buying his jerseys. Swing a soft liner. Mayhew's got it. And the throw to first down. is in time. One gone. Now batter. Swing it into the box. Sandy Leon. He's over one after rounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ball one. Her ball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. No runs, just one hit, and no let's errors. Hope, uh, for the let's Sox hope the Red Sox don't do anything here. That my pitching's on. Oh, come on. Here that looked pretty good, but it's no two and oh. Come on, blue. Don't do me like that in a cl close game in a close series like this. Third let go. I got it's lucky a right there. Strike. Love the pitch call there. 2 0. You know, the guy's geared up for a fastball. And you drop and fastball, a changing change speeds. Got two That's strikes now. Pitch to handle. Yeah, I try to drop a curveball now on him. I'm going to swing through it. Way Doesn't too bad. Way off. Full now. You could pretty much we book do that not want coming. a challenge fastball right here. No, it ain't. Allow the nine curveball, to get on base which is fair. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Just fair, but he doesn't that's have much speed. It's not like I'm going up against Martinez. It's been intended, so. So a runner at first I know for a fact he's away. not stealing, so I can just pitch away. Left-handed bat of Andrew Benintendi. Quite an interesting outing up to this point as we head oh, into the middle bad. innings. He's pitching quite well, but you look at his first pitch strike percentage, less than 40%. That's going to be something he's going to need strikes. to clean up moving forward. Count is one and two now. Down oh, Voigt didn't get it. And that's a fair ball. Voigt couldn't come up with it and make the double play, the easy double play. And that runner will go no further than second as there Oh no. The batter number 50. Second base in this game you better have a short memory. Well, that's obviously the case with this batter. We have to draw up now. Oh god. Curveball bounces and this one gets away. So now two men in scoring position. Well, I might regret this. Who's up next? On third, Benintendi is over at second with one down in the inning. Wait, hold on, is that who's up right now? I don't want to walk the bases here with uh one and one. Here it comes. Hit hard and we're in trouble. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. And that inability to come through and taken over. in the bottom of the six bites me, and that's gonna now do it here. I'm going to put Tommy Canley in. Boy, some really good pitching going into the sixth inning in this one. Now Big RBI base hit to break through. Number what a pitcher's duel this been. Tommy. Yeah, Dan, the pitching's been great, but something I've been focusing we on. Wanna, we don't want to let things get away. We want to try and, if it's only one run, we can inning. come back. All right, we at least got the play at the plate. Good. I'm going to run. We chopper. And now we got to battle Mookie Betts here. And that'll get it. All right, we come back and get the two two uh, outs. Limited to one out. Our one run, so hopefully we can get that right back. Look at Stanton's average right now, 0.091. He needs to come through. And there it is. Come on. Don't tell me that's not out. How is that not out? With that short porch. I thought that was for sure a home run to tie the game. 
Wow. I thought that was it. We're hitting that. We're hitting this. We're getting good swings. We're getting good pitches to hit. We're just hitting them right to the defenders. Next for New York, Gary Sanchez. One for two on his line so far in the game. A ball and no strikes. Good thing is that we've still got seven more outs. We're only down by one. Swing and a miss for strike one. One ball, one strike. Bases are empty. We can do this. Inside and low, two and one. Just one run. Just one run. And right into the shift. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Come on, Sanchez. Come on, Gary. Nope. That's going to do it for the seventh. I really hope. Back. It's all right. All right, I'm going to lose this. Did I watch the game tonight? The Yankee game? I did not. Two of my coworkers were at the game tonight, though. Fastball that gets the inside corner, strike one. That pitch is in triple digits. I think he had right. to take that we've one. We still got the eighth and we've still got the ninth. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. Got it. But a Was it? Ball, How'd they do? The a I'm assuming the Yankees won. Yeah. New closer made his debut? Nice. Who's the new closer? One man is out of the Red Sox seventh, and that will bring in the outfielder who's played for every AL Eastern Division club in his career, Steve Pierce. Pierce has played for the Yankees at one point? A ball and a strike. Not know that. Two strikes. 24 year old from the Dominican Republic. Damn. There's a cold strike on a fastball up in the zone. We're seeing well, nothing more about fastballs in that pitch, so as we'll change up the angles, speed. Guys are looking for the ball down in the zone. If a pitcher can pitch up in the zone like that. Oh, there's right no there. way he went. I almost hit him. Some hay. Tried to hold up there. A field down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Ah, oh, crud. And that will fall in front of but that's only going to be a single because of the arm strength of my outfielders. So that's a good thing. Boy, there's a long drive bullet off the wall. Yeah, right. We need a really good job. We need to not let anything else happen. Hit the throw quick. Oh, we got him, thank God. I was like, what are you doing, Hicks? Throw that ball harder to get the out. Whew. Yeah, I mean, nervous there. He started. First delivery to him on the way. Well, we got a runner on second anyway. That's going to move that runner into scoring position now. That's all right. That's okay. We only need to get Bradley Jr. And that's in there for his strike. Just need to get Bradley Jr. His career against this pitcher, he's one for four. Nope. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. Bogarts at second with two down. Two strikes. Ball is looked at for strike two. And hard right judge runs down. Keep it to one run. There as he puts this away <laughs> to retire the side. Red Sox leave one. We still need one run. Labor. And that'll bring up Labor Labor Torres. Torres. If I recall, Labor's had some good uh, moments in this game leading. for us. So. This thing's cool. far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Get out of, get out or get out of play. Oh. They're an extra base just away. missed. I gotta, I gotta get people up in the bullpen. This thing up. We'll keep Chad Green up, but we'll get about Del Matanzas warmed up. Might have to bring him into the eighth. Price ready with the 0-1. Nope. And that misses downstairs for a ball. Price is tired, now, and we can tie. We got the. I mean, he's there. still got good energy, but like his pitch count's getting up there. And we have the bats to hit one out. And again, like, that's one where I just got too far underneath it. If I squared that up, it's gone. One down. Yeah, look. It went my PC up. I went that way instead of right up here. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. 
Void hits that. Is that going to get off the wall? No. Two away. Christ. Every time I hit a ball to the green monster, I think it's gone. Mayhew had that single that we accidentally tried to stretch for a double. Down to our last four outs here. And I should not have swung at that pitch. No runs, seven hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Come on. Price is tired. He's not going to come be in the ninth. You got a strike now. Woof. One and two to DJ LeMayhew. I felt like that was going to be, uh, I thought that was going to trail out of the zone or that we were going to get a call there. Still one and two. One. Come on, LeMayhew. You got this, buddy. Come on. Right. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Let's battle. Let's kind of Let's fight. Right here. We call this guy a grinder. What are our grinders? They just kind of foul off some good pitches. They they lay off the pitches just off the plate. This is every squared it up. We we're just there. early. A Damn. It's up there with a the plan, and not just up there swinging at anything that you throw towards home plate. And here's Fighting him off still. Bats sprinting after it. And no one will track it down. <sighs> oh, it's not going to stay fair, line. though. And this will wind up a foul ball. <sighs> hey, this is a heck of a battle right here. Long AB. You know what? They find themselves still facing the start. Nope, I held up. Don't you like dare punch me. In the game. I, I, I think they get into the bullpen by this time. <sighs> Full count. So nobody on. Hit right to the third baseman. And that'll do it. All right, Adam, right, take care, man. All right, we got three. We're bringing the Tances here. Well, you don't see in this day too many relievers. Play. You want to keep this to a one-run game. Guys have to earn that trust from their managers. We'll see how he handles it here. Number 68. First pitch coming. Here it is. Outside, that's the ball. Tough, Didn't quite catch the zone there. Ball one. Lifted down the line and left. Looks like this is going to game five. I hope not. I certainly hope not. The one one. We got three outs. Right We're not dead yet, and it's only one run right now. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. He's working on a one for three thus far. Called a strike on the outer half, 0 and 1. And look out! Is that but he swung. If you're swinging and you get hit, isn't that still? Anyway, you can. This isn't the preferred route, at least for him. But hey, they'll take And prior to the first pitch, he's twice about trying to steal here. Dive, but he's back. Here comes the first pitch. He's going, but Aaron Hicks will get there. And Hicks will get the throw in. Two gone. The second out. Oh, uh, not the man I want to be facing right now. All right. Luckily, Didi's able to recover from that. Here we go. Three outs. Either we put the put ourselves in a situation to knock out the Sox, or we go to Game Five in New York. They're keeping David Price in, and with one pitch, he gets one out. Now that it. Yeah, Andrew Har. I'm gonna warm up out of Vino just in case we take the lead. Now the first pitch here from Price. Mm. And it's the outside corner, it's strike one. Looks like he's got a good feel for that two. Damn this David this Price and uh used it Chris really combo. Tonight. And it's one and one. One and one. 
But once, no matter how many outs we got, as long as we're still alive, one swing of the bat changes it. But we're down to our last out. It's up to Aaron Judge here. Help us, Aaron Judge. You're our only hope. He was so the hero one. of game and number he two. Through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's zero and one. Can he be a hero here yeah, Matty, with David Price nearing hundred pitch. pitches? I, I got to think he was guessing off speed. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Last chance for the Yankees. Base hit. Aaron Judge and keeps things alive. Past his outstretched arm, a base hit. Down 0-2, and he gets a hit to keep things alive. You've got to love that about your team. They were down to their now last batting. strike, but they Let refused to go down without a fight. So now Stanton's got a chance. Hmm. Ellsbury with the steal or Gardner with the speed? We're going to put in Brett Gardner here. For Aaron Judge, so we got speed on the base pass. They'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Number 11, Brett. Into the box, Giancarlo Stanton. I was behind it. I wasn't. I didn't want to swing it first. For something, you could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Ah, down to our last strike again. And a full house here at Fenway. Thirty-six thousand nine hundred eighty-four on their feet. And that'll do it. We're going to New York for game five. I should have laid off that pitch. That is two straight games where I, where I made base running this, this uh, poor base running decisions, trying to extend hits in the sixth inning where that would have probably produced runs and it led to me losing. And that's how it is. That's how the pendulum swings. So now we go to game five. The other side Next time, and we're gonna so have fast. negative cold momentum. No about it, this is October Wolf. baseball at its best. The series now will shift to another venue. Now, what's the situation what I here? I got a feeling we're gonna have to come from finale. behind, which is gonna be rough. This one. Tie game, top of the first. It's game five. We're gonna play the whole game. They're gonna have us play out the whole game. Uh, Philly was able to knock off the Washington Nationals in game five. We went from a stranglehold on Boston to now having to go to game five. Winner plays Cleveland. Loser goes home. We are in a rough situation. The next video could very well be the end of March to October. And we could very well lose out on our chance to get that David Robinson diamond card. But we're going to end up playing the full nine inning game, game from the first. Nothing, nothing. And you know, at least the pitching's been doing relatively well. I've just been making some boneheaded decisions at the plate. And hopefully with a full game to play, I'll be able to turn that around. And we'll put ourselves into the ALCS against Cleveland. We'll be the last team, hopefully, to punch our ticket. And then hopefully, after we take on Cleveland, we'll move on to the World Series against St. Louis or Philly. But oh man. Will our decisions come back to haunt us? We'll find out. We're going to be home in New York. Uh in the Bronx at Yankee Stadium. So we'll at least have the crowd with us. That's going to do it for March to October for this week, guys. Uh, if you're watching the stream, I'm going to do a stream outro after this. But if you're watching on VOD, this is where I leave you. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, subscribe if you're on Twitter. Comment. I mean, not on Twitter. On, on YouTube. Why am I saying Facebook? I don't know. I do social media for a living so sometimes. So, you know, doing social media is part of my job. I get confused on YouTube. So if you're enjoying the content, be sure to give a like to the content. Also, if you're watching this back on Twitch, be sure to give me a, give, give me a follow as well. Come stop on by at Twitch at twitch.tv slash on screen. to watch me as I stream these live. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching on VOD. If you're on stream, we're going to chat for a little bit as I do a little, like, outro. But uh, for VOD peeps, peace deuces. Catch you later. I'm nervous. <laughs>